let's go in here. He's right there. I don't know why he chose that spot. Alright, here's what we're going to do. There's obviously something we need in here. Okay, we can't. We can't get in there. It's not shown to me immediately. If you need me, I'm in the archives. BJ. And the results are in. That motherfucker lying. There's our badge. But this motherfucker is sentient. Fucking shit. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. He's definitely sentient. Just so happens to smash down the fucking door. When I pick up a fucking key card. Oh shit! Goodbye, cruel world. Run there. Run, bastard. Oh if you wanna live. Oh. Oh. Open the fucking... Open the door! Run, man. Run, bastard. Run if you want to live. Ah! 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 Fuck. Fuck. Any other bright ideas? Yes. Fun. This is our bright idea. 1v1, brah. That's right. That's right, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> let me just let me just powder up. Damn. It's probably white more often. You know it's not over after one wipe, right? There's more. Alright, well we're equipped and stacked now. Time to go to the hospital. I remember my father used to say, we're on a path of no return. And even though he was an old bastard, I think he was right. But what he didn't say is that at the end of that path lurks something unsettling, something dark, hidden in our minds or hearts. It slowly pushes us to the edge of ourselves and causes us to no longer actually be ourselves but something different. This fucking little life alert fuck. That's what we've been chasing. Where did daughter take a shit? I can't find her and my wife has just quit. What the fuck? I could probably find some ammo in these things. What the hell? This is the church, and this is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. <laughs> here is the parson going upstairs, and here are we. You still can't see us? Wake up already! Open your eyes, you fucking coward! Damn. Best voice acting in the game. There it is, guys. You've got to be kidding me. The hell? Oh, he's coming for you, boy. Pull out that fucking gun. They won't really let me shoot, will they? Maybe I should shoot. Show me it. Showed me equip it. <laughs> 
All right, hold W to get up again. Looking for daughter and wife. Goal has not changed. After find daughter wife, we go to grandpap. It's a boat. I know you've heard me. I know you're there. Give us a sign. I need to know you'll come back to us. I need to know if I should wait for you or go on without you. Damn. Our character's name is actually Matthew. I am now under the impression that he's in a coma. And that tar-like substance must be like... I don't know, like cancer or something, maybe? Spreading. What the hell is this? Okay. Onwards and upwards. I remember a long time ago, when I was a kid, I would wander around these caves with my friend Ron. Ron was always quiet and calm, but I swear, as soon as we got further inside, something, something would possess him. That strange mystic voice would awake inside of him. The call of nature, or... I don't know. I have no idea what to call it. Anyway, he would get down there and Ron, normally an incredibly quiet kid, would start telling stories about monsters lurking around. He would say how this nutty old woman who lived nearby, we called her Old Libby, thought she was a witch, would take the children she caught stealing apples from her garden to the caves. And of course, whoever entered the caves never came out again. Which was stupid, obviously, since we would go in and out all the time. Anyway, that was one of my favorite childhood memories. But this town destroys every good memory. One night, Ron disappeared, and no one ever saw him again. Just a few hours before that, he was taking apples from old Libby's garden. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to have to be collecting three things, A, B, and C. Uh, let's go do C first. The hell? Someone's stuck. They're like impaled. Someone fell. What the hell is that? Is that what we should be looking for? All right, boy. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Mr. Handman. Oh shit. Why, Austin? Why are you sprinting through the cave? Well, if I'm being honest, there are just some very lacking qualities to this game, and the story is interesting, but the thing's following. I think I'm going around in circles. I don't think I am. Hey, dumbass! Dumb fuck! Butt naked fuckhead. Man up. You're all Live right. wire in water. Ugh. That can't be healthy. 